Hey, what's happening guys? Mark back here at Mark's Aquatics. On today's episode, we're going to be making a little oxidator for our tanks. So we can add some extra oxygen into our little shrimp tanks and our fish tanks, our planted tanks, whatever we want to put them in really. Now what we've got today, I've been down my little cheapy shop. I don't know if you've got one of these shops, wherever you are. But we've got some little jars there, look. The shop's called What? And um, you get these in the hobby craft section in the shop. I bought two different things. So we're going to try a couple of different ways. I bought these, but I've got the little small jars, which are near enough, exactly the same as the uh, as the bought ones. And I bought also this little travel set of bottles for 90p. And they've got some nice little plastic um, little jars in there as well. And we also bought that, which had... Oh, actually, I've got another one here somewhere. I bought two of them, so I can show you that. Look, they come like that. They got a stopper in the top, a little bit of wood, little kiddies making, um, so you can make a little necklace or a, a bangle or whatever. But the little pots that these come in are fabulous for making these. They got a nice little stopper on the top, which goes in like that. And we can turn it upside down. But what I want to do is I've got these old spice jars here. And I thought if we could cut some off the off the base about that big, this would act as the weight to sink it to the bottom because these have got a, light, a slight bit of oxygen in them. And if we don't make it a little bit heavy, it's going to float. And it's got to be a plastic stopper. So, um, and what I've discovered is, is the stoppers that fit into these fit exactly into those perfectly like that okay that's brilliant brilliant fit you wouldn't get a better fit than that and then they pop out just sort of a little twist to the side so what we're going to try and do is make one of these little oxidators and then we'll get to work with the uh, the chemistry side of it after we've done that but what I'm going to try and do first guys I'm going to try and cut a piece off with my glass cutter here right guys what I've got here I've put my my glass cutter on this piece of wood piece of scrap wood because I want it to be I think this is about half an inch bit of plywood I cut a circle out of there for another project I was doing a while back but an easy way to cut a ring around something I don't know if you've seen my other glass cutting videos on how to make shrimp feeder dishes out of whiskey bottle bottoms Go back and watch that one if you haven't seen it. If you want to get yourself a cheap one instead of paying 10 quid for one of those Petri or Petri dishes or whatever they're called, uh, go back and watch that. But what I've got, a nice glass. I want to keep this all clear. I mean, the ones that you can buy, they've got the clay bottom for the weight to hold them down. Um, but this is nice and heavy as well. It's probably roughly around the same weight as the clay one, to be honest. So if you put that inside there against that, and then you just twist, you'll get an equal cut score line all the way around, okay? So I've got to use both hands for that. Then if you can hear it cutting. I'm sorry I can't show you it, but I can't get the angle. And there you go. Now if you look at that, now we've got a nice little score now going all the way around see equal score now I won't take you through all the process again but what you do to part this right you've got to boil a kettle pour the water all over the crack minding the old fingers put the cold tap on first really really slowly so it's just a little fine little drop of water coming out not a drop you want it running continuously but really really thin get it as thin as you can but still running get that going pour the boiling water all over there turn it as you do it making sure you've got a plastic or something underneath if you've got a china sink like I have otherwise you're going to drop because sometimes they will just let go and fall in the pot and then you will lose it you'll smash it in there so but once you put the boiling hot water there put a whole kettle just keep on turning it turning it and then just put it underneath the cold tap let the, that little drip of water, that little bead of water go onto that crack and you'll see it 
start to crack and just keep turning it around on there you might have to put some more boiling water on it again back under the cold tap and just keep turning it and then you'll just be able to pull it and, and it will just pop apart all right so i'm going to shoot off to the kitchen now and do that and then i'll be back in a second okay guys we're back there you go we've parted that now that's popped the that's popped open so you can see the way it, the way it cuts around that line now what we've got to do is get our sandpaper I just spin that bottom around on there like that and then as you can see we've ground all them edges off there's a one little bit there which is a little bit deeper than the rest of it but it's mostly and I've taken all them sharp edges off now see all the way around now what we've got to do now that's done that's all the hard work done now all right guys it's all done we've finished them off I've put the shop one there that's the bought one and that one there is the one we've made now why, I, why I've done this is because if you're going to go and buy that it's going to be about 12 pound for that that's cost me about under two quid in fact that jar cost me 70 it cost me 70 79p for three jars the other little stopper thing that we got in the top there that was a, that was about 50p for that okay from a little shop which you can find in any of these little trinkety shops or on ebay you can pick them up the only thing is is the catalysts which go in these okay you're gonna have to put one in there but they're £1.60 for a catalyst and they'll last you a good long time and all I buy is this stuff 6% hydrogen peroxide there's half a gallon there and that cost me about I think about five quid 6% hydrogen peroxide and that's all that runs in these things if you buy a, a bottle of the stuff it's about 10 or 15 to 16 quid I think for a for not even a litre of the stuff that they put in these and it's um it's exactly the same it's just hydrogen peroxide and the catalyst slowly slowly releases and does whatever it does in the water obviously it's adding a little bit of pressure because you can actually see if i bring one up if i actually get in close for you you can see the reaction with the catalysts happening in there see those tiny little bubbles there you see rising up from that catalyst now basically that is creating that's speeding up the decomposition of the hydrogen peroxide which is going to build up pressure inside that little vase inside that little jar sorry same with that one you can see that reaction in the one we've just made is happening exactly the same you see both identically running the same and what it does the holes that we've put around the base we've put two pin pricks around the base in the lid of this one there's one there's two pin pricks and there's two pin pricks in the side of that very very tiny so as that pressure builds up inside this it's very very slowly dripping that hydrogen peroxide then into the water which is then turning into oxygen okay and so it's very very slow reaction you could do it with a very very small piece of potato because that's the same there's an enzyme in that which speeds up the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide as well and we're going to make an, we're going to make one of those we're going to make an extra oxygen an emergency oxygen supply as well on another video out of the same principle but using potato now with this because this is really really slow and it's a continuous effect where the enzyme in potato will run out eventually and it will stop these just keep going as you can see that oxygen is just rising up inside both creating that and pushing that out through those little tiny pinholes and releasing it into the water so that's a really cheap and easy way for you guys to make your oxidators all you've got to do is go on eBay and for £1.60 it may be another pound for for postage 
and depending where you are I suppose but you can make yourself some funky little oxidators and you can just buy half a gallon of hydrogen peroxide and you can kick yourself out for months because all they are is a little bit of clay in a jar and a bit of plastic stopper but we've used a nice bit of glass there I think it looks a bit nicer similar size jar I think that one's slightly bigger so I think you could buy an oxidator and everything. If you, I think if you spent, oh, I don't know, ten pound, I suppose you, um, you, you could buy yourself an, enough, enough gear to last you months and months doing it this way. Anyway, guys, I hope you like that little oxidator video. Go and make yourself one, save yourself a few pounds. And um, if you like these little videos, please like, share, and subscribe. As always, always appreciated. You're all stars. Look after yourselves. Love you loads, and I'll see you in the next edition of Mark's Aquatics. Bye for now.